What is going on guys? Selves Lita Carson here. Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones, my favorite TV show made into a game. So let's just get this over with. Alright, sorry about what happened. The timer just screwed me over, so I have let's to- Let's try it again. E! Go left! Oh. Almost. <clears throat> again. Right. And E! Left! We are. Oh. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> yes. I think you let me. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. I just hurt myself. My lord. Sorry to interrupt. <gasps> oh, Lady Glenn. Lena. Lady, Lady. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Hello, my wife. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. What happened? Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. Of course. Of course you can. What? You remember my little brother? Quiver! Hi there, buddy. Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. Yes! I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. No. But something's happened. What happened? I didn't know what else to do. You're always Maybe welcome. this was a bad idea. You're always, You're always welcome here. Yes. We're to be married. You'll be calling I and Rath home soon. Yes. Yes, well, um, that's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. Oh, shit. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. Oh, what? That Blood threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick. We'll stop Lena, it. We're in this together. We're gonna what stop this. Happen? I'm first off. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna murder the dad. Why'd you do this? I trusted you. You bastard. But Game of Thrones isn't working. We'll make it work somehow, folks. And Lord Whitehill will fucking murder you. I will kill every one of you. I'll kill Griff, I'll kill Lud, maybe not the eldest son, or maybe the other sons, but I will spell Gwen because she is awesome. She is awesome, but fuck that! I'm gonna murder that guy. I knew you'd help, but my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. Yeah. We have to get rid of him. Yes. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Yeah, Lord I, Whitehill's made I up agree his mind. With and so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. Yes. We have a way around that. Alright, what is it? What is it? Oh! <gasps> Glenmore troops! I guess I get support after all. Whoa! You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both yes. ranged and close combat. Yes. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. That's a deal. The whole guard. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. Oh, that's... What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. They still have Ryan. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Actually, this yes, I do. Both of us. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. Yeah, you have to. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. True. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Me? I would be happy to. Yeah, I gotta kill that bastard. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Yes. Thank you, Griff. First off, I'm making this promise only for this reason, folks. Because first off, Griff is an arrogant little prick that needs to die. And secondly... I need to start surrounding myself with allies. If I don't get any allies, Griff is gonna marry Elena, and then the Glenmores are gonna be 
like I'm gonna be like honor bound to help the White Hills out, and then I'm gonna lose an ally, and I'm gonna be like fuck. So I have to start getting more people to help me out inside of me. If this means if there is a way to save Ryan while marrying Elena and killing Griff, then by all means I'm gonna go with that plan. If not, then I have to make sacrifices. A true leader knows when he has to make the tough decisions. And sometimes the tough decisions are the right decisions. And killing Griff will be a very difficult but tough thing to do. But it is the right thing to do in my mind. Could you give us a moment? Alright man, you have to get out of here. I need to have a wife moment with my wife here. Future wife, I mean. What is it, babe? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. I'm glad. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's like happened that. these last few years. Yeah, that's a great thing. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Kiss her? Of course kiss her. Why not? Of course kiss her. Why not? I'm playing a dangerous game, folks. I've played a, the, the Game of Thrones well as of right now, but I need to make sure I'm still making the right calls. And I think killing Griff is a right call. It's a dangerous move, but it's a gamble I have to try and make. That's why I'm making that promise. And I'm going to try and defend my argument. Obviously, I'm going to try and defend my argument. Obviously. But if you've seen how I've played the Game of Thrones in King's Landing slash Mira scenario, and how I've been doing it with Asher slash Essos scenario, and the beginning of the... The how the King's Landing paid off with the uh, Glenmore marriage thing. That really, is, I'm playing this game very well. Sal, you're not a really good Game of Thrones. Shut up, Billy. You don't know the Game of Thrones like me. You have to be super smart. It, this thing will eat you alive if you don't play careful. I know Mom's not gonna betray me. I know definitely I the Mace. Another world. coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one she hour. Marry his brother too. <laughs> not to I mention put Cersei and her. Jaime. Psh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. We're listening to everything we can. Very important. The little, the little bird. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? Yeah. About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Mm. Blood White Hill. All right, tell me in secret. Blood White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. I bet something I know big. who. Seriously. But I don't know what. I bet it's one of those Ironwood merchants. Mm -hmm. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. I think it's Lord It's Morgren. hard to say. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. I think it's Lord Morgren because if... It can't be Andros because if you saw in last episode, Andros seems to be wanting a little political alliance. That, hey, if we work together, we can both make a lot of money out of this. You see what I'm getting at? And I'm like, hmm. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. Very true. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Uh, we're, I don't know if we're on good... Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? Yeah. Might as well. I mean, I was good to her in the last it's episode. Time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Well, I'm a forester. I'm a northerner in a southerner land, so I'm kind of screwed as it is. House Ebonlock, who dar meddle with me? Our bat sitcher would be a snow lion. Look up snow lion on Wikipedia. It's a real thing. I'm gonna die miserably. At the north of the wall. I mean, on the wall, yeah, I'm gonna what die. are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. 
That the one who killed Brit? Yeah, he deserved it. He's not going anywhere. Come on. Now you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Well, fuck you too. I'm not gonna freeze. I'm awesome. I'm. All right. The North Grove beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. So let's take a look around. Bucket, find a way out. The bucket must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. The bucket will save me. Pick onions. onions and crab apples. Ooh, crab apples. That's At least I won't starve to death. Good. That will. Keep if I ever find a way out of here. Yeah, I got food at least. Uh, what's a rusty? What's a rusty troll? This might help. All right. Yeah. Let's. Let's get it. I don't know what it is, but I'll use it. A rusty trowel. It might be useful. I might have said that word wrong, but I don't care. Let's look at the hidden wall. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Simply use your Superman strength and you will. Uh, wait, what's this? Just grab some wood. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Well, shit. Right, let's keep looking around. It has to be so Sand! Just sand. Shit. All right. Let's see if we can look at the door. What time do I got? No one out there. Good. Then let's look at this. Oh, this one looks loose. Okay. <gasps> Fudge. Garrett! Oh, it's my buddy! Carter. Carter! What are you doing here? Hi, Carter! Please help me. I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. What? I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Yes! Or you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Yes. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? Mm -hmm. So I'm getting you out of here. You're a good I man. Don't I don't hear care if he's complaint. a wily. He's a good guy. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. Why? I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. Mm. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Let's take Finn with us too then. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but just may keep not a do look any good. Yeah, just keep a can look you see me... any other way out? Just keep watch. Make sure no one comes by. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see what it. I can do from in here. Thank you for saying the right. Word. And first off, folks, before we go any further, um, this is a split vote because in one of my last episodes, everybody got a little bit pissy because I told Jon Snow the North Grove thing, but. Finn and Carter kind of found out, and Carter's a wildling, so he might know where the North Grove is, and he wants to help out, and he's helping me try to escape. So, logically, if he's gonna come with, if he's going to the North, like, if he's going beyond the wall, and I'm stuck here, the best thing to do is, you know, bring him along anyways. Let's use the trowel, see what happens. I'm curious. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. Um, chip it. Chip it. And chip it. Let's see what happens. I can see it. it it's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, alright? Alright, here we go. Go, 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 because I'm hey, awesome like that. Can you fit through? I think. I did it, folks. I did it. I'll just say I got out with magic. Oh shit! He's back. I'm surprised he didn't see me. What is it? The wildling cutter is gonna help me. Might as well trust him. 
Oh shit, get down! Oh! Oh, that was close. I wasn't even ready for that. Ah shit. Okay. Look at his feet. Get under there. Oh god, I was like, oh Christ. Alright, let's get the fudge out of here, folks. Let's take a good sword. Oh, shit! Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger? Yes. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd Boy, I'm glad to see you. He helped us out! Why I'm not? glad to see you. I'm glad he's I'm the with sword us. in the darkness. Helping a fellow brother keep his head. Yes. I need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? <laughs> I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Very true. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. I think Three's better than two. I'm gonna and bring him, folks. He backed us up and he's obviously with a good us, guy, Finn. so I'm I have I'm asking to. Garrett. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. Just let's go. I covered you on the wildling secret. I'm not gonna let you fail me now. Besides, if he stays there, he's most likely gonna die at the. He's most likely gonna die in the castle of Black, ca the Battle of Castle Black. So it's better to just bring him along than let him die. Let's go. Let's go. But the bad news is. Here's the thing. The good thing is to bring him is he backed us up even though he knows we didn't start it. He knows we're good. We're like we're good. We're, we didn't start it. We're innocent. And he's a good guy for backing us. I don't know if my other buddies, my other friends may have backed him, but I backed him. I supported him. I gave him the love and support he needed, and he gave me the love back to me. So shame on you Angel Arch with your silent game. You screwed yourself over. So hardy har har. So let's get going. Let's go. He's gonna eat half of our food supply. He'll be fine. He'll fight us. I am the watcher in the wall. Weirwood tree, the old gods. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. Mm -hmm. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. True. Actually, no, I don't know that, but okay. Words don't mean shit. My family Only a comes price first. on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. Yes. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. And the reason why I say it like that, folks, is because the Night's Watch pretty much was going to have me killed. So even if I kept true to my vows, I'm not going to stick around with a group that's really going to just cop my head off. Even though they probably have a good idea that they know I'm innocent. Or are they just gonna chop off my head because I did something bad and that I was trying to defend myself? Like, you get what I'm saying. So I'm not gonna stick with a group that wants to kill me. No point. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Super, super fast. The old gods will protect me. I chose to bring Finn because I think he'll play a part in the future, folks. And I am going to kill Griff if I see an opening. And probably make sure Ryan doesn't die. Then I, if, if I do... If I do find out, then it's most likely going to be... Whoa, what's wrong with the people here? Why do the people look like they're dying? It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester. What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. What happened? I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before He's things gone. get He's gone. Yeah, we must protect the Maester. Let's see I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. I won't. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. I need every one of them. I'll yes. need every one of them for what I'm about to do. Yes. 
Because I have them here as soon as possible. I highly doubt Griff is gonna stand go. down. Simply, I highly doubt. Nothing. I highly doubt they're just gonna Listen simply for stand. My signal. Down. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I may have to strike my cane, knowing that Griff's just gonna simply push me over and do whatever the heck he can. I'm coming with you. No. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I yes. don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. Together then. We might have our only opportunity to kill Griff, so I am gonna do it, folks. Look at the people, they're already scared and frightened. And look like half of them are starving. So this is the only opportunity I'm gonna get to kill Griff. And besides, I'm gonna pause it yet again. Griff has pushed himself, like he thinks he owns this house. And I stood down only because I thought it was to protect my sister. Now that I have here for sure, like I got backup. I got men, I got soldiers, archers, like elite elite people ready to back me up and ready to kill this guy. I can go in for it. My only fear is what happens when this gets to Lord Whitehill? What's he going to do to Ryan? He's going to, I'm going to be in big, big trouble. This is a gamble and I'm going to gamble on it. And usually my gamble, my gambles when I make them are 50-50. So let's do this. Besides, I'm tired of Griff pushing me over. I tried to heal it, but the wound didn't respond. Stop this at once. Why? You let the fight faster. No, I tried. You know, tried harder for a foster. Ooh. My lord, please. Ooh. I am the only lord who matters here. Yeah, he needs... Roderick. Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. Yeah! You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving At the maester. The maester. You'll never me. marry him. She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. Just as you did, Roderick. And so will he, when I'm through with him. Oh! Oh my god. You're a... Don't you're leave ya. You. You're a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh! Yeah. You got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think? What? The... I'm sorry. First off, I remember... I gotta put... I'm gonna cut the video off before we go any further. First off, and I'm leaving with a cliffhanger. Okay, now I can say it. First off, I know Gwen Whitehill wants us to have peace. But the more... I don't think Gwen really sees what her brother Griff and her dad are actually like. She can say she loves them and cares about them. They disagree on things. But if she doesn't see like the, br the actual brutality that they are trying to inflict on a specific house just because they hate them. Like they're, they're, they've been enemies. If you, and first off, I'm still thinking the maester is the bad guy, and he's the he's the person who you know, is the traitor. If it's the mom, I'm gonna so house arrest her. I'm so gonna house arrest her. But bring me back to the point. I digress. I know Gwen wants peace between our houses, but if she doesn't understand the brutality and what they're doing, then I can't really promise. That there can be peace and I even said I know I for a fact I say this I'm not making any promises that there's gonna be peace between our houses I'm willing to try if they're gonna if they're gonna actually be like you know what maybe we should stop being these evil douchebags and try and be good people and try to see if if we can curry the people to favor us over the forces then I would have been like okay maybe there can be some peace but we got to work some stuff out there is no redeeming quality in this White Hill house they need to it's a Pretty much, it's either it's either us or them. So, Gwen, if you're going to be pissed at me for killing your brother, so be it. I will do it. I'll take it. I'll take the hate. So, thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to cut it off here, folks. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay you, stay cool, and stay awesome. Bye-bye.